I can get to that other part. Whoop, there goes my gas valve. To disconnect my connections to it. And then um, take off the bits that I need. Sometimes it's good when you order extra bits that go with this rather than, but often we, when we're doing parts for boilers, they don't throw in these bits, do they, for the gas valve? I think they should, though. I think the manufacturer should just throw these bits in rather than having to pull it off the next bit. I guess it's our own common sense to have to order that, but I just think they should think from this perspective, the perspective of the gas engineer, and give you what you need rather than it being a headache. So we need to take off this bad boy and put him on here. I think the manufacturer gave me the gaskets for this bit, which was nice of them. And then um, up this side, what have we got? We have to take off this bad boy and put him on here. So that shouldn't be too hard. And then hopefully we'll be done. But I need to look into that. Definitely got to get that pressure sensor because it's leaking. It may be fine, but hopefully we can get this boiler back up and going and he can back up his body here. Okay, so now an important thing, when you're taking stuff off, remember the direction things were. The good thing is when you have another boiler, you can also refer to it, but always remember if you start putting stuff off, remember where you're putting stuff off, remember where you put your screws. You probably know this already, but I'm just telling you, just in case you don't know, I have to repeat this to myself often. I will check the direction of stuff. Just in case you put things the wrong way and then it's a headache. I think they've given me everything I need in this. This O-ring is for this side, and on that side, I'm not sure. Because, you know, when we're doing all this gas stuff, well, maybe you do the same parts all the time on the same boilers, but for me, I find that every month we go by and I'm working on a different boiler or changing a part that I've never changed on a particular boiler before. There's how many boilers are, are there in the industry? There's loads. So just, okay, similar methods, but just watch what you're doing carefully when you are doing it. Another little tip is yeah, try and put everything back in the same area. Oh my tools, I need to get more of the, I should buy one of these and uh, uh, what's the word, a socket set and Allen keys like every month and screwdrivers. Those three things I lose all the time, no matter what. So on here, another little tip is when you're doing things like this, just in case you don't know, so I'm putting two in here and two over there. I shouldn't do these too tight. I should put them all in loosely so that they find their place. Cause look, there's movement on this. Another thing is don't do stuff like this, what I've just done here. Don't do this, because you'll leave it, yeah? Don't leave stuff randomly in different places. Try and put everything in one place and do a little recce at the end. Go and walk back around. Don't rush off site. Walk back around to make sure that you haven't forgotten anything.